Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, off camera when I was shuffling for you, it's like um, some of you, I don't know if it's you or someone around you, you did the work, you did the spell work to get your person and now it's kind of wearing off or it's backfired. Or somebody did spell work on you to get you and it's backfired. Uh, there's also someone here who allowed for a third party to come in between the relationship. And uh, now they regret it. They want to make amends or apologize or do right. Or have some level of consistency. Uh, let's see. What is going on for Sagittarius? What's happening for Sag here? Okay, yeah, somebody let somebody, uh, the lovers could be dealing with Gemini. If you're not dealing with the Gemini, then, um, it's okay. So you got these two cards came out this, the lovers and the set and a uh, Sagittarius card, the temperance card. So something was perfect or it was right, you know, or it was good. And then there was choice. There was some love choice that came in to where you had to decide Sagittarius, if, um, yeah, you had to decide or you had to choose. Somebody did some, some type of spell to get chosen also, or somebody was doing some spell on someone, spell work on someone for them to be bound to them, you know, sexually or choose them make the choice of them like they didn't choose the soulmate connection they chose okay i heard incubus succubus yep two of wands talks about be careful of making the wrong choice the wrong decision in the two of wands because they lead down a karmic road somebody chose the wrong road they chose to work with maybe somebody because of money they chose to put their energy, effort, time, or share their life with somebody who was money hungry, after money, who wanted to marry into money, who wanted to have affluence, who wanted to get out of a turbulent situation or a terrible situation or drama-filled one or, yes, yeah, somebody definitely wanted to marry into the Hierophant or they wanted to be aligned with somebody who had like high rank or money or nice family or nice cars or nice home. Nice. So somebody did some type of work either on you, Sag, or you did this, I don't know, uh, to get what they wanted. It, it, in the pre-shuffle, it was that it was wearing off. What's going on here? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Um, There's definitely a third party here. Somebody did some work for it to end and kind of confuse somebody with all these different, you know, love bombing is what I'm hearing. Uh, this is drugs, sex, overindulging, keeping somebody kind of in a fog, a mental fog, you know, because what they were doing on them was spell work. Now somebody is trying to let this go, though. The star card. Let it go. Get on the right path. Alignment. Get You'll get aligned with the universe, with themselves, pouring out their emotions, letting it go. Somebody's, don't drink something that somebody's giving you. Eat some food. Pour something out. Somebody is, a masculine energy is now, like, waking up to something, seeing through the truth. Clarity, truth of the matter. Something about their emotions or that they were in a, in a fog or they were not as stable or they were not as like coherent or somebody seeing that they didn't make the right decision. The King of Cups has two chalices. Someone's trying to heal from... So, or somebody put distance between 
<clears throat> they moved on from somebody who had them under an illusion, not being able to think straight, confused. Yeah, had them not like almost insanity or insane. This is heavy spell work. What's this about for sad? Like somebody's trying to see past this or, or they're finally seeing past it. Uh, they're getting away from it. They, they This is regret. Yeah, official person. So somebody was like, you know, really dedicated, declarated, if you will, to their, uh, you know, occupation. They got really good. Yeah, wealthy man. This is somebody who had money. This is somebody who was trying to align themselves with somebody who had money. We up sudden well. Somebody was trying to um wow, damn, take somebody's fortune or take them, take them for a ride, you know. Expectation. Yes, yeah, somebody was a female getting with a man like okay what i'm about to do is some heavy ass spell work because i want this yeah main but there was somebody else here in this spell work may have caused this other woman to leave or this man didn't make the decision the right decision here occupy he was so occupied occupation um He was so occupied. He didn't make the right decision. This talks about good news, good right decision. Now somebody's in despair. Somebody knows that they made a boo-boo, made a, the wrong decision, knows that they went the wrong way. Then they were guided to a place of despair. They may have a... Now somebody wants to declare their love. Wow. Even propose marriage. But still somebody off in the background, still lurking. It's still a false person here. Who is this? Some woman, some older woman who's sinking into a de depression because her petty, pesky ways didn't work. It's backfiring. She could be under judgment by way of spirit. Spirit guides. Somebody spirit guide, guides could be all over. Yeah, she in like some jail here. Um, For doing all this heavy spell work on somebody. And keeping them confused about who to choose. And they chose the wrong person. But now somebody's waking up to their divinity, their spirituality. Shifting their philosophy about love and relationships. And they're getting some message that concerns them that they got to end something quick fast in a hurry um that they may need to go and recover some type of relationship they have to do a lot of work to recover that but some masculine energy is is ready and willing to leave depart and come to someone start a new journey a new path let someone in on a secret that's crazy this is um it's a bit much for me but um i understand what is the advice for sag advice for sagittarius knight of pentacles six of cups five of swords ace of swords ace of cups um devoted trustworthy reliable unmovable six of cups gifts sharing simpler times the moon card feminine energy hidden enemy this is when like some third party is doing spell work Somebody was keeping somebody from a soulmate. They were doing this ritualistically. Um, but now that's all reversing. Because the five of swords is about reversal, right? And then the eight the ace of cups. Somebody's gonna get their love. 
if if this is you, Sarah, if you feel like somebody kept you from your person, you're going to get this new start with your person, the Ace of Cups. All of this spill work is being reversed now. It's being it's going away. Somebody's seeing through the fog that they were lying to themselves or about something or someone. So that's the advice I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.